Hello Indie Game fans, in this edition of the new Indie Game Trailers, I have a Metroidvania title, a gorgeous flight sim, another magical academy sim, an action adventure game, and a tycoon game among others which may be of interest. We begin with Kiaru Skuro, which I hope I'm pronouncing correctly, and is defined according to Wikipedia as the strong use of contrast between light and dark. This is a Metroidvania title where you explore a world that has fallen into darkness. Now since you are probably thinking of it, I have to note its similarity to Hollow Knight, but I do think that it has its own charm since it is pixel art after all. Monochrome can be a tricky thing to get right in games, so I'm waiting to see more, with there being a free demo for you to check out. It is currently on Kickstarter with about 75% to go and plenty of time, so go support this one if interested. The Ursi does not relinquish its nourishment easily or freely. In order to survive, you must race its waves, harness its winds, and fly. Fly before its waters. Engage. One title which I've been looking forward to is The Falconeer, which just confirmed its release date, and yes, it will be a next gen Xbox launch title. One of the most gorgeous looking games, this should put that next gen power to good use, and it's an open world air combat game where you might even have to take out fortresses and ships. And from their safe vantage, a desire grows to ascend further still. To feed their furnaces, they devour the rock and metal, turning their safety and refuge into whips, chains, guns, and chimney, certain they need never take refuge again. But from the depths, those already swallowed, those lost and chained to the waters, look upwards. In surrender to the water, they lose sight of the skies forever. Their gaze is fear and anger, for they can no longer see what hunts them, what cursed them so, but they see its face everywhere. Only the Mansa do not attempt to flee from the water. They know its darkness, they calmly watch. As eternities pass, they watch and pray for equilibrium. Watch the rock crumble and the waters rise, and watch their future. Slip away. In the end, all sink in the water. The Ursi cares not. It will always take its due. Tactics roguelites are another growing interest of mine, with Obsidian Prince being one that looks good. Voxels are slowly growing on me, though I do still prefer pixel art, but this has you recruiting a party of heroes and exploring an overworld to go on adventures. On top of dungeons to conquer, rebuilding the overworld seems to be the meta element in this and should be another good one. Just made a video on survival games, but the title currently on Kickstarter is Brick Waters. This has you exploring an archipelago, fighting golems and titans, with the usual scavenging, base building, crafting, and survival meters to attend to. However, the combat elements look good, with a little bit of an MMO-like interface, but real-time combat, so add one more promising title to the list.
I'm surprised that it took that long for Magic Academy games to become so prevalent given how many years we are after the peak of Harry Potter, lawsuits aside. But Story Arcana does look good. You are an ordinary person who is enrolled into a wizard school, and hey, aren't we all waiting for that owl and that letter? There's real-time action-adventure-style combat, puzzles, exploration, lessons to attend, spells to cast, and even a spot played on broomsticks, so I'm looking forward to this. If you watched yesterday's video, you know that I'm a fan of survival city builders, with the upcoming Against the Storm being something of interest to me. This is a roguelite city builder where you need to survive against an everlasting rain and the fury of the storm. I love the rain but have seen footage of how destructive it can be, so a game based around that idea but in a fantasy setting appeals to me. Many indie developers are inspired by Smash Bros and Rushdown Revolt is no exception. This is from some of the team that worked on the now defunct Icons Combat Arena but looks to rework and retool some of the aspects of that into a better experience. I'm not into the scene and cannot tell you if there's wave dashing or whatever in this game, but wishing them all the best and fans of that style of fighting game should check it out. Mind Scanners is interesting since it is being published by the developer of Yes, Your Grace, but it's actually being developed by another team. And looks like the papers please like where you have to diagnose and normalize anomaly citizens. Pretty dark in that cyberpunk kind of way, which I dig. What if time could be rewritten? What if we could bring back the wondrous creatures extinction left behind? What if you could run your own prehistoric kingdom? Love Tycoon Games, so of course I'm interested in prehistoric kingdom. Through the power of genetic technology, biological marvels from a bygone era roam the earth once more, providing an opportunity to protect, preserve and nurture the ancient past. But it's not just the animals that are looked after. State-of-the-art facilities keep the guests entertained and satisfied throughout their visit to the park. This place is a sanctuary for our planet's rich history, with extinct species of all shapes and sizes. And of course, you can also find some of the cute ones. It reminds me of mine back home. It's crucial we give these beautiful creatures the respect and care they need. Or 
else we might be the ones facing extinction. A live sim action adventure game of interest is Lonesome Village, where you play as a coyote and have to adventure in dungeons, solve puzzles, garden, fish and more in order to build up the village. Truly make this your home by saving villagers from the tower and getting them to stay and build their own lives as well. It looks wholesome and cute and was 100% funded in just 24 hours, but there are some stretch goals to support if you want. Love this type of game, taking the number one spot. To see more of the big picture, check out these awesome videos and I will see you after the jump.